Talking about crazy rumors for Nintendo heading into 2024 is probably one of my favorite things to do as a content creator at this point because, look, Nintendo's going to be a little quiet when it comes to news unless they somehow get hacked like some people at Sony have that now led to us knowing all these things about Wolverine and all these various games and internal emails about how worried Sony is about Microsoft. Look, that's all fine and dandy. All that stuff's out there if you're interested. Yeah, that's right. Sony actually had a major hack happen. But what I want to focus on, obviously, is what's happening with Nintendo in 2024. And today we have this interesting rumor coming from a place that is definitely worth talking about. This isn't Zippo. This isn't 4chan. This isn't this random person who sent an email in or something. This is somebody who does have a track record and I think is worth paying attention to. And what's crazy is it's my favorite kind of rumor because it's one that allows us to speculate in a meaningful way rather than just directly tell us this thing is happening, period. And then we just talk about our opinions on that thing. We actually have a legitimate reason to speculate on this. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in because this information is coming from none other than Nash Weedle. Now, who is Nash Weedle? If you're unaware, he is a leaker on X who leaked a bunch of stuff regarding Metroid Dread back in the day. Now, some people tried to disprove that he was the originating source on all of the Metroid Dread stuff over the years. Unfortunately for them, everything that they post as evidence was posted a week after what Nash Weedle said, meaning that as far as we're aware, he is the closest person to being the actual source of all the Metroid Dread leaks back in the day. And he knew a lot. He knew the name of the game. He knew what it was going to be about. He knew some of the key mechanics. He knew a lot. So he clearly seemed to have access to the game or at least knew someone who knew what was going on with the game. Beyond that, he's had a number of smaller leaks. The Metroid Dread stuff, the big stuff, he's had a number of smaller leaks over the years, but most of those leaks have just sort of been in line with what other people like Nate the Hate and stuff have put out there or Pioro. It hasn't really been anything that else that we can like look at as he's the originating source. He's just added context and more information to already existing stuff from other leakers. Until now, he's putting something out there that I find really, really fun on X. And it's because of the way he did it. If you guys remember, and again, we're still going over context here, Dr. Sirkin Toto, who put out a couple of tweets, one back in, I think it was 2021, and another one this year, both of which are now since deleted, that said things like ZR 2023. And all of these tweets ended up referencing games, right? Or one of them was Zelda 2 2022, which again, that was referencing Breath of the Wild 2 being a 2022 announcement. And a week later, Nintendo announced that it was going to be a 2022 game. Yes, we all know it came out in 2023, but that was the information at the time in 2021. And then this year it was Zelda reveal 2023. That's what ZR 2023 meant. And that was the movie reveal, right? So he's been right twice, but this isn't from him. Before we get into speculation quick, we are on a road to 150,000 subscribers. And you know what? If you go ahead and subscribe to the channel, I'm hearing that eggplants will start to rain down on all of our heads. But we bring this up because the new leak from Nash Weedle for next year, he decided to structure it like Dr. Sirkin Toto. And here's what it says. CZR 2024. Oh, man. So... Here's the thing. That's what the actual leak is. Now it's all speculation on what this actually means. And I was, I wanted to get feedback from the community on this. So we, during our live stream last night, I did take this to the live chat and I said, hey, let's come up with some ideas on what this could possibly mean. Now, one idea is that it's controller related, right? For some reason, ZR is literally the ZR button on your controller and C is referencing a scroll wheel of some type, even though scroll wheel isn't spelt with the letter C. Whatever, maybe there's an internal document reference that calls it C or they're calling it a C wheel because maybe it's not a full circle. Maybe it just goes one way and then goes back the other. I, I don't really know. Uh, either way, they're, they're referencing the whole Sakurai scroll wheel thing. Uh, and that's cool. That, that could be it. And we've had rumors around that before. But more likely than not, it's probably not a reference to that, given that he's referencing Dr. Sirk and Toto's way of leaking things, which was for Zelda. So what kind of Zelda things could it be? Well, 
Here are some of the things that came up with. A collaborative Zelda remake or remaster. So what would that mean? Well, it could be anything, right? It could be an Ocarina of Time remake or remaster that the Zelda team has collaborated, say, with Bandai Namco or something, right? That would be a multiple team effort to remaster a game. And that's pretty exciting. And again, that could be anything. That could be any of the Zelda games, right? Another one... Another one is a classic Zelda remaster or remake. So this could be like Zelda 1, Zelda 2, and into the past. Technically, it could still be Ocarina of Time. It's considered a classic at this point. I know, crazy. So, I don't know. That's another way some people have taken CZR 2024. Another really interesting one would be, what if it's more literal? A Capcom Zelda remake or remaster. Now we start to get more specific. That could be the Minish Cap or that could be the Oracle games, Oracle of Seasons and Oracle of Ages. And those have had rumors around them before. And Grezzo, who hasn't released a Zelda remaster remake or anything since 2019, I shouldn't say anything, they, they have released other games. That could be what they're working on. That could be a big game for 2024. There's other things though. Um, a collection of Zelda remasters or remakes. So now you're getting into the hey, the Wind Waker, Twilight Princess HD twin pack sort of thing. Uh, so that brings that back into the fold, and that's always really exciting. But there's another one that I think is even more interesting, and I'm really glad I took this to the chat last night because all of these things I probably would have came up with my own, but I wasn't even thinking about this. Cast Zelda reveal. What does that mean? The cast for the Zelda movie could be revealed next year. And honestly... That one is absolutely brilliant, and I got to thank our live chat for that one. That one was, look, it would be very well, that could just be what it is. We're going to get the Zelda movie cast revealed next year. That is crazy. But, of course, that's not all the possibilities. There's other ones. As a joke, someone put out there a CDI Zelda remake or remaster. Gee, it sure is boring around here. My boy, this piece is what all true warriors strive for. I just wonder what Ganon's up to. Yeah, I think uh, we can all agree that's probably not what it is. Uh, some su some suggested maybe it's a cell-shaded Zelda remake or remaster where it's taking an old Zelda game and cell-shading it and bringing it back. Again, can't dismiss that possibility. Cell-shading is definitely something Nintendo has used several times throughout Zelda history. Also, here's an interesting one, and I don't think this is the case. Well, what about a Christmas Zelda game reveal? for 2024 i again i challenged when this one came up to tell me a time nintendo's ever unveiled any game on christmas uh no one could find any reveal on christmas there's reveals before christmas there's reveals shortly after christmas no actual reveals on christmas so i don't know i i, I kind of doubt that one but still this sort of leaves all it, it open for discussion and that's what i love about what nash weedle did here is instead of just giving us like one thing like it is this and like zippo threw out there and again zippo is who he is but he threw out there that ocarina of time was happening that's very specific and it's fun to sit there and focus on that one individual game how you know reliable it is how much we'd like it how you know what could they do with it but what's cool is when the world of possibilities is opened up and he's basically just saying something zelda if not the movie cast then a remake or remaster is happening in 2024 so what happens then well it could be a movie if it's the cast reveal for the zelda movie which i don't think would shock people next year cool I'm good with that, but I tend to think he's teasing a game. I, I could be wrong on this. This is just because Nash Weedle's never actually teased movie stuff before, so I don't know that he really has inside knowledge on what's happening with the movies at Sony and Nintendo and Illumination. He's never really had, he never had Mario movie teases in the past either, so I'm kind of thinking that all of his teases have always been game related. So I'm leaning toward this being a Zelda remake or remaster for next year. And then you just look at all the possibilities and really anything's on the table, especially if the C means collaborative Zelda remaster. That could be literally anything. That could be Tears of the Freaking Kingdom for all we know, being remastered by a third party company and it's collaborative because the Zelda team made it. I don't know. You guys, I, I, I'm just, I'm really excited by what this could be. Uh, I like the idea of it being a Capcom Zelda remake or remaster. I think Minish Cap or the Oracle games coming back would be utterly insane. 
trust Grezzo to do that entire. Look what Grezzo did with Link's Awakening. It was insanely awesome. I'd like to see them do that again with these games. Do an Unreal Engine 4 or 5 like they did before and just have fun. Now, I, I'm i just excited. As a fan, I already expect there to be some sort of Zelda something next year. But now a remake or remaster is going to be floating on my mind heading into 2024. And I am okay with that. As always, folks, hype irresponsibly. And we'll catch you in the next video.